Welcome to Ecanic. In this video, we're going to show you how to start any vehicle that displays key not detected on the dashboard. So one of the main reasons why that happens is because the batteries on your key fob are weak. It doesn't mean that they cannot unlock the car. You, you might be still be able to lock and unlock the car when you press the button on the key fob. But once you come inside the vehicle, the vehicle cannot detect that key anymore. Um, but what you want to do is that uh, you need to find the, the slot where you insert the key to manually start it, even if the, the key batteries are dead or weak. Most cars, all you have to do is come here and press the start button with your key fob, with the tip of your key fob. In most cases, that's going to allow you to start the vehicle. In these cars, for example, here we have a Mercedes. That doesn't work. What you need to do is remove this start button where you just pull that off and then you take the key you insert it and you'll be able to start the vehicle so that's not always the case on some cars you cannot pull out the start button um, and if it does not start by pressing this uh, the start uh, you'll have to look in the owner's manual for the location where you insert the key in uh, emergency situation. So uh, for example, on Nissan Infinities, you have a slot right here where you can insert the key and just leave it there and then start the car. Um, on, uh, let's say Mitsubishi's, uh, the, key, the key slot is right below the radio, it's a rectangular slot right there. On GM vehicles like Buick, Cadillacs, um, you have to open the central armrest and then place the key right at the bottom and leave it there, then start the car. On Hyundai's and Kia's, you have a slot right here where you insert the key and you can just leave it there uh, on some cars you have to place the key on the cup holder right here you press place the key at the bottom of the cup holder and leave it there so uh, those are the main the most common i mean um, most cars are going to have the one of these locations where you place the key uh, one thing i didn't mention is bmws some of the older ones uh, have a you have to hold the key against the steering column here. If that's the case, um, you'll have a symbol right on the steering column that shows the key symbol, and that's you hold the key there and start. Otherwise, you might have the slot right here where you insert the key. So those are the most common. Um, once you get your car started, um, you can drive it as long as you wish, um, but uh, make sure to replace the, the batteries on your key fob. We have guides on how to replace most key, the batteries in most keys. Um, uh, one thing to keep in mind is that if you do replace the batteries in your key and you still get the error message, uh, there's typically two common issues. The key itself can still be defective. It doesn't mean because it unlocks the car, it still works and it's um, uh, it, it still doesn't rule the key out. You might still have a faulty key. Um, there's a transponder inside that's used only to communicate with a mobilizer and to recognize the key. So that can get damaged when you drop the key or when you wash, if you happen to wash the key. Uh, so that can get damaged. And the uh, second one is the immobilizer in the vehicle itself. Uh, vehicle has antennas all over, um, sometimes center console or over by the dash that are used to recognize. These can get damaged or the immobilizer system itself can be uh, damaged and then it won't recognize the key. Um, but those are very um, rare um, issues. Uh, in nine out of 10 cases that we see is just because the batteries on your key fobs um, are weak and they just need to be replaced. So check those and uh, replace the battery if uh, needed. And that should usually take care of this problem. And thank you for watching. Bye.